Welcome to Mark Henry Golf. So today we are covering the feeling of that ground force of that right sequence to get that bottom half firing on the way through, ideally first in front of that top half. Now there has to be a certain sequence of movements to achieve that, but say we are in the correct position, we have done a big reverse spine angle, we've actually loaded the correct part of the trail leg on the way back so we've got half a chance to be able to drive into that lead leg clear that left hip and pivot round that lead leg so uh, i've got like, three options so we've got uh, a wall ball which would be great if you can slam it against the wall but if you haven't got that then this is your slam ball and then you've got your medicine ball but even if you haven't got the facility to throw it against somewhere you can just pretend that you're throwing it, but because you say increase the weight, so say if we go for the slam ball, so this is a nine kilogram slam ball, so not crazy heavy for a slam ball, so but up there. So if you were to go into your posture position and then just swing it through with the arms, that would feel pretty heavy. So when you've got that extra weight, it's forcing you to try and get that bottom half involved to then drive it through. Just be careful in the process of doing that, you're not then early extending towards the target. So have some reference point down on the floor to, so that you can refer to, so you can put your club down, anything like that, to make sure you haven't driven forward to the target. But when you've got that extra weight, you will definitely get that bottom half involved. So then you can pretend that you're throwing it, which is really feeling that drive of that bottom half. It will certainly, I'd like to think, give you the correct feeling of getting the right sequence, driving through and smashing it miles. Boom.